Number 85. What is the effect on the concentration of ammonia, hydroxide ion, and ammonium ion when the following are added to a basic buffer solution of equal concentrations of ammonia and ammonium nitrate? And then we're adding ammonium chloride here, which is NH4Cl. Now, I have my balanced equation already. If you guys uh, want a little recap as to why we chose this equation, you could always check out uh, the first one out of the bunch here in the playlist, 85A, and we go over in depth how we went and got this equation. But the, basically, the, the question is asking, what's happening to the ammonia ion, the hydroxide ion, and the ammonium ion? So I'm just going to write that out over here. The NH3 is ammonia, so that's over here. The hydroxide is OH minus, that's one of the products. And then the ammonium is NH4 plus. And they're just asking for what's happening. Is it, you know, are these going to increase in concentration, decrease in concentration, or have no effect? This comes from what we're adding. In this case, we're adding NH4Cl. Now, NH4Cl is a salt because I do see that I have uh, the charges here, ammonium chloride. Ammonium, if we split this up, the polyatomic ammonia, ammonium is NH4+, plus, and Cl would just be Cl-. minus. Now, hopefully, one of these will show up into our balanced equation. And in this case, we do see that we have NH4+. Plus. That's in common. So we're just going to focus on that. So if we say that we added the NH4Cl, right, that means that that increased, that means that I increased the amount of NH4+. Plus. So it travels over here. I have an increase of NH4+. Plus. So I actually answered one of the questions. My ammonium ion is going to increase. Now I just got to figure out what's going on with the other two. Well, now this comes from Le Chatelier's principle, which is a review, right, from, I, I believe, I don't know, chapter 8 or 9. But remember, Le Chatelier's principle says that if you have too much of, of, of a concentration, right, if you have an increased amount of something, you have way too much of that. So you will always shift to the opposite side to get it back. So in this case, if I have way too much product, I will shift to the opposite side. So the arrow that predominates is going to the left. And in this case, if you're going to the left, the compound, ammonia, is going to increase. So I now know that ammonia is going to increase. And since I'm going to the left, I'm making the reactant and I'm losing the product. So the OH- minus had to have dropped. So the OH- minus will drop a little bit. But still it decreases nonetheless. So these are your final answers for what's happening with the effect on the concentration. Hopefully this helped. I think this is the end for 85. So Le Chatelier's principle, they love it for some reason, it always keeps coming back. But it's a good kind of, uh, you know, theoretical thinking because it's a big thing in chemistry. But I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love helping you guys out. And good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And I'll see you in upcoming lessons. Okay, bye-bye.